Hi, my name is Steve Gose, and in today's demonstration, I want to show how to repot a basic house plant. Repotting 101. In this case, today, we're going to repot what they call a parlor pot. This is a camaderia, and it's actually an excellent indoor plant. It's good in lower light, and is tolerant of a wide range of conditions. So in this case, we're going to put it in a nice glazed pot, and the first thing, and this is something I'm always nagging about, this container has a drainage hole. And for most things, unless it's a plant that lives in the water, it needs to be in a container with a drainage hole. In this case, there's a nice decorative uh, saucer that's attached, ready to go, so that when you water, any water that drains through in excess accumulates in the saucer and is easily dumped out. All right, first step is to cover our drainage hole. In this case, I'm using clay pot shards. Around here, we have no shortage of clay pots, therefore, no shortage of broken clay pots. These little pieces prevent the drainage hole from clogging, and most of them have a slight curve to them, so it gives you a little bit of an air space. This way, when you water, the water will collect in this layer and then go right out the hole. And that will do it most quickly, most efficiently. So in this case, we're gonna put just a few pieces to cover the hole. And you don't have to get fancy. I usually make a little pattern, which is not at all necessary. And there we go. Sometimes though, and this is a substitute, you can also put some pebbles down at the bottom. In this case, it just fills in the gaps between the pieces of clay pot shard. And there we go. In no situation does it need to be more than an inch deep. So the next step is we're gonna add a little bit of soil. Now I pre-moistened this soil, and I'm probably gonna add just a little bit more. This way, when we're all done and we water it in, the soil will accept water rather than overspilling the top. So here we go, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. And we're just gonna put in a shallow layer. Now the idea with this, just firm gently with your hand. And the idea is that when you set in the new root ball, and usually easy enough to come out, if a plant is resistant, here's an easy way to remove the plant from the pot. And this is just a put on the edge of the table. Don't worry, you always spill some soil. And just give it a tap and the plant comes right out. In this case, it's actually ready for repotting. You can see the roots that have begun to wind around the outside of the root ball. So let's just set this in. And the depth is just right, perfect. Okay, well, get rid of that empty pot. And now we're just going to fill in with our soil. And same idea. We're gonna work around the edges. And here I've selected a pot. First of all, that looks appropriate for the size and stature of the plant but something that's going to allow for several years of new growth. In this size of a container, this palm should be just fine for anywhere from three to four years. After that, it will start to get tight in the container, and sometimes you'll notice a difference in growth. So when you see those signals, it's time to move into yet a bigger pot. And here we go, a little bit more soil. spread this around. And what I'm doing also is I'm firming this down with my fingers. The idea is not to compress it, but just to firm it and remove any air space. A good trick as you go also is to tap gently on your work surface. This also will help settle the soil. Well, there we go. I think I might be able to throw a little bit more soil on top. Use this up. Get off the side. up my leftovers here and there we go I'm gonna give it a good watering as I water I'm looking to see when the water begins to drain out of the bottom that's I signal that I put enough on and that the whole root ball has been moistened and there we have it quite often a plant would appreciate being in a a little shadier location for, you know, a week or so while it gets settled in and begins to root into its new pot. After that, it can go back to its regular location. In this case, a parlor pond like this is great. Bright and direct light, also excellent under plant lights, but also an east window or anywhere it gets morning sun or afternoon sun. It's just fine. It doesn't need tons of light. All right, there we go. All set.